Hey guys, welcome to Diecast Reviews. Today, I'll be doing something a little bit different on my channel. I'll be reviewing the Lino NASCAR Authentics Wave 12 here. You can see 2019 Wave 12. Got all the cars in the wave as they all come falling down. All nine of them. So yeah, I'll be doing a review on all nine cars. Basically, a review of the whole wave here. And there's something I want to start doing on my channel is these NASCAR Authentics reviews because I do collect them. And, uh, yeah, I think it'd be pretty cool to do some reviews on them. So, uh, we're going to start at 2019 Wave 12, and then we're going to progress um, as uh, Lionel releases the waves here. So, uh, right now, they've just released 2020 Wave 4 in stores. So, 2019 Wave 12 and that is what I'm doing a review on now. And then 2020 Wave 1, I'll do a review on. 2020 Wave 2, 2020 Wave 3, 2020 Wave 4, which is out now. And then, you know, 2020 Wave 5 and 2020 Wave 6 as they release those in stores. Um, so, yeah, 2019 Wave 12. Uh, let's start with, I guess, this car. Let's, well, here's, there's nine cars in the wave, so let me show you all nine of them quickly here. The Chase Elliott Hooters car. The Kyle Busch Auto Club race winner. The William Byron Exalta Liberty of Flames of Independence or something, that Flames of Liberty car. Daryl Wallace, Jr. McDonald's. Joey Logano, uh, Las Vegas winner. Greg Biffle's truck, Texas winner. This car fell down. Martin Truex Jr. Bass Pro Shops, patriotic scheme. Denny Hamlin's um, throwback, FedEx throwback. And Eric Jones's Stanley Tools car. So, yeah, we'll do a review on all two of them. Let's start with, I guess let's start with Denny Hamlin's throwback here. 2019 Wave 12. There is the packaging. I like the uh, font there. Or how they made the number look like it's on the car. Comes with a free hood there. And here I'll show you the back. Once there's all the cars on the wave. The they do have chase pieces in the line of Antics. Um obviously it's like a color chrome, like a uh, metallic edition basically. So it's a uh, Hooters Chase Elliott cars, the uh so you wanna look for that in a pink metallic color. There's the licensing. And yeah, let's get Denny Hamlin Denny Hamlin's car here out of the package. He comes crashing down. There is the hood. The FedEx Racing Denny Hamlin Toyota 11 hood. There's the back. Nothing interesting, but there is the free hood there. It comes with a hood sometimes, with a magnet, with a card. We'll see all that throughout this video. Let's get that off the turntable. But yeah, there is the car out of the package. FedEx Racing on the hood there. FedEx all over the car. Obviously, that's the main sponsor. I really love the shiny numbers. I think in real life, they're like a uh, sp um, whole, uh, yeah, I think they were in re real life, they were uh, like a shiny uh, holographic. That's the word I was looking for. Uh, material, not just painted. You have the orange stripe on the car that goes from the grill all the way around the car you have the white that goes to the light blue goes to the semi light blue goes to the blue dark blue darker blue and the black so i love that contrast kind of like makes its way along from white to black i love how that they do that on the car you can see it's some of the throwback the 3m is a neat throwback logo Mac Tools, FedEx, FedEx on the back there. Let's put it on the turntable here. Now this is a Daryl Waltrip throwback for Denny Hamlin that he ran at the Darlington event, obviously. And uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. I like the die cast and the scheme. Well, the die cast scheme looks very well. I really do like how they went from the white to the black. I think that is a very nice contrast and I do like how this logo here is black and white. Usually don't see that. Obviously, FedEx has like what white and gray, green logo or something, white and purple. And here it's white and black, the other way reversed. So I think that's pretty cool. But yeah, pretty cool scheme here for Denny Hamlin. Let's give it a 360. So yeah, pretty cool scheme. And here is the hood that comes with it. 
in more detail. Obviously not the same hood as the one on the car. You've got like this part. This part here is the same, and then here they added the orange and the logo, the Toyota logo, and the Denny Hamlin signature. So yeah, that is Denny Hamlin's throwback scheme. Let's move on to another car in the wave here. Let's move on to another Toyota, another Joe Gibbs car. We have Eric Jones's Stanley uh, Tools Toyota Camry. You've got a magnet with this one. Get out of the package here. There's the car, and let's get the magnet out here. There is the magnet, pretty cool magnet, Stanley here, Jones 20, that looks pretty nice. And uh, yeah, there's the magnet. So let's get that over there. So here is the car, very similar to like a Daniel Suarez 19 Stanley tools that he ran, and that I think they actually released in the Lionel Authentics line as well. Um, but, you know, Joe Gibbs kind of, you know, swaps around their sponsors to different cars, and they all have similar paint schemes. Like, I think Eric Jones this year actually ran, like, an Interstate Batteries car that was virtu vir virtu virtually identical, that was a tongue twister, to the um, Kyle Busch car that he ran. The uh, Interstate Batteries Kyle Busch, the only difference was obviously the number was uh, 18 but 20. But there you can see the Stanley logo there. You will notice how that N is actually not connected. It's pretty cool. Go to the side, you have the 20. You have the gray there with the black. Stanley, you have the Reese's Fine Foods logo on the side, on the back. And then there, there you can see some additional sponsors, sports clips. That car runs with like three different cars. And it also has the same scheme. Interstate batteries, like I said, Mobile One. Hasn't been a, a primary sponsor for Joe Gibbs, I don't think. Sherwin Williams either. Uh, Siemens, maybe. Xfinity, I know. Definitely they ran with Eric Jones. I, mean, I don't think that. Actually, they may have run a couple of cup cars with Eric Jones. Stanley on the back there. And the set is obviously the same as the other one. So yeah, pretty cool card here for Eric Jones. It is an interesting one to release, but uh, nice that they released it nonetheless. Um, yeah, pretty cool card to release. I do like the yellow to the black. Another card that kind of has a contrast from one color to the from the start color at the front to the color at the back, kind of contrasts in the middle. There changes to it, and again, I like how this part is black. The Stanley logo is black here, and it's yellow here. So yeah, pretty nice car for Eric Jones. Also, I forgot to mention, you can see how he has a, um, the yellow light year tires. Denny Hamlin should have white, uh, not light year, Goodyear tires for the Darlington throwback. Unless, I don't, maybe they didn't run it that year, I'm not sure. Uh, moving on, let's not go to another Joe Gibbs car. Let's go to a raced one car. And there's three of them in this wave, and we'll talk about all three of them and how they should do it. But here's Joey Logano's Pennzoil 400 winner from Las Vegas, Nevada. Let's get it out of the package. I say Ford Mustang. Our only Ford Mustang in this wave, which is very unfortunate because Ford Mustang is probably my favorite body style. So, unfortunate that it's the only one in the wave. There's the car, and here's the card. Joey Logano, raced version, Las Vegas, Pennzoil 400 winner, Las Vegas, Nevada, March 3rd, 2019. You see the date, the time of the race was 2 hours, 35 minutes, 11 seconds. He started 10th. Uh, there was a total of 267 laps, only two cautions, probably both stage cautions, actually. Uh, so Logano led 86 laps, and only won by 2 tenths of a second. Yeah, pretty cool, like, trading card thingy mabob here you get. Um... And here is the car. Got the Pennzoil logo on the front. This car, unlike the other ones, is all one color. Got the Pennzoil logo with the red bell. It's a classic shell Pennzoil logo. You've got a NASCAR Heat there on the side, which I think they were promoting like the uh, game or the like eSports League or something. Um, you know, they just put some random stuff. They usually, sometimes they put contingency logos on here. Um, sometimes they put something, like I think they put... Um, Twitter stuff on here sometimes. Sometimes they put the NASCAR heat stuff. Um, sometimes you just put like the manufacturer. It's kind of 
up to the teams. You got the race winner logo there, the like, race winner sticker there, which is pretty cool detail. I see a race win car when he was in victory lane. He's got all the confetti. Got PPG there, which is a very cool car. And, um, interesting because all three Penske cars have run a PPG car in 2020, and it's always confusing because all of them look exactly the same. Kind of like the uh, Joe Gibbs cars. Got uh, some other logos and Coca Cola there. Got AAA there. Discount tire, auto trader, snap on. Jiffy Lube there on the back. And obviously, you can see that the wheels here are yellow, which Penske usually doesn't have black rims, usually has colored rims, which is, I like that aspect. Penzo, you've got this very interesting design which goes along. You can see the side of the car goes down to the bottom of the car, comes back up along the quarter panel, even on the roof, like tire tracks, uh, tread marks almost. Very, very interesting. Benzo, you can see the tire tread marks on the back again. 22 crew, apparently. Ford logo on the back. Very big spoiler on the Mustang and a pretty big splitter there in the front. You can see the window net go to the back of the car. Benzo. Got some detail right there. And it looks like some tape or something on the uh, side here. So on that one, that side. We've got some dirt on the grill and stuff like that. That's some nice detail there from Lino. But um, there's the uh, Ford Mustang front, which I really do like. And um, yeah, I think it's the best car they have. Uh, the best body style in NASCAR, I think, is the Ford Mustang. A uh, second is probably Toyota, and then Chevy Camaro is bringing up the rear, which all three of them are actually in this wave. So we'll take a look at a Chevy next, I think. Yeah, there's the Penzo scheme for Joey Logano. And obviously, confetti all over the car, um, which I'll talk about a little later when we have another race to win car coming up. Truck, actually. But yeah, pretty interesting scheme for Logano. I do like the Penzo, this Penzo scheme. This isn't the uh, normal shell scheme this he runs. This is. A different type of scheme. Not exactly sure what like the promotion is. I think this is more of a Penzo scheme. He runs like a shell scheme with the uh, shell. Um, but yeah, this is a different scheme than he normally runs. But I still think it's a pretty cool scheme. I think I like this one maybe a little better than his normal scheme. The black numbers there. So yeah, that is Joey Logano's shell Penzo race winner. Let's move on to another car in the wave. Let's move on to a Chevy, like I said. Let's move on to... William Byron's Flames of Independence Patriotic car there. William Byron, you've got another magnet. So, yeah, this is supposed to be a patriotic scheme. Um, but it's a lot of white to be a patriotic scheme. Usually patriotic, patriotic schemes are like a mix of red and, blue, red and blue. And then you've got a little bit of white. This is more white with a little bit of red and blue splattered in there. But uh, we'll see. There's the magnet. Exalta 24, William Byron. I do like the flame detail on the bottom there. So you can see the blue Exalta logo right away on the hood. Really don't really like this paint scheme, but we'll see if it goes on me over the review. Exalta there, you can see the blue uh, on the front end there with little flames coming out. As you go to the side, those flames turn into big flames. And then behind the 24, they kind of turn to red flames. And back into blue flames and then you can see the exalta logo is on a red flame that kind of goes around towards the back of the car where then it says exalta coating systems camaro the roof is like a mix of blue and red flame that looks pretty decent i would say exalta is blue on the front there you got another blue exalta logo exalta coating systems and then towards the back you've got exalta in white on the red then you go to this side, and then this red flame is also connecting. So it's kind of like this blue flame comes out like this. This red flame goes in like this. So I mean, if you look at it from the side, you've got both. If you look at it from the front, you've got the blue. Look at it from the back, you've got the red. That's pretty cool, but I mean, just there's probably a little too much white to call it a, really a patriotic scheme. We'll get to a, a more patriotic scheme a little bit later, in my opinion. I, I see what they're going for. I think it's a cool idea. I do like how the flames are executed, but I think it's just a little too much white, in my opinion, on the car uh, to call the patriotic scheme. Maybe if you went with, like, red with white and blue flames, or, I don't know, maybe if you make the whole car, like, blue flames from here, 
red flames and just a little bit of accents of white around the car. I think that would look pretty cool. Um, but I'm not sure how this much blue really is. Uh, you know, I don't really like the how much blue they have. Got some interesting sponsors there. Hertz, Valvoline, Mac Tools. Yeah, I the, the amount of blue they have kind of puts me off. And isn't why it is really why I don't really like this car all that much. So yeah, that's William Byron's Liberty. Flames of Liberty, Flames of Independence car. Uh, let's go to another Patriotic car, another Joe Gibbs car. They've got all four Joe Gibbs cars in this wave, and then also a uh, Joe Gibbs kind of truck. Well, Kyle Busch Motorsports truck, but it's basically a Joe Gibbs truck. Okay, well, not really a Joe Gibbs truck, but Kyle Busch drives for Joe Gibbs. And then also the truck team. I mean, they've got all the uh, Joe Gibbs. The only thing missing was the Joe Gibbs Xfinity car. But here is Martin Truex Jr.'s Patriotic Scheme. He also comes with a magnet. The Bass Pro Shops USO magnet. Very interesting. Put that to the side there. But yeah, here is the car. I mean, okay, let's get well, yeah, I'll back up here for a second. Let's put that there. Got the Bass Pro Shops logo there. BassPro.com USO. Looks like, what does that say? I don't know. I'm not exactly sure what that says. That signature. I don't think that's more true. Excess signature. Mm, yeah, that doesn't look the same. Looks like it starts with a K. But you've got the blue here, and the blue goes all along the car, and then you've got the red that starts towards the side, and then it kind of goes up alongside the blue as well on the roof here. You've got a bit of white that starts alongside the red and goes alongside the red as well. And I think that looks pretty nice, honestly. Like, that's how you do a patriotic scheme right there with a the little bit, the stars in white. I mean, you know, I think this is how you do a patriotic scheme. And uh, this, you know, yeah. I think this is more of a patriotic scheme than this is. Go along, you have these special wheels. I think this is honor and remember there with the Goodyear. Honor and remember rims on either side as well there. You've got the stars, Bass Pro Shops, Mobile One, got the Interstate Batteries again, Mac Tools, Siemens, Tracker Boats, ATVs and Boats. Obviously all Bass Pro Shops sponsoring right there. Tracker Boats and ATVs. Actually, that's probably more correct now. Tracker, ATVs and Boats. Camry there. See the blue rear, kind of the blue is the main color on the car. The main main color is blue with the red, and then just little bits of white. See you for the patriotic scheme. I feel like you incorporate white in a little bit, not not make the whole car white. You make you put a little accents of white in there to make it a good patriotic scheme. And you can see the main color is blue, and then you've got a red, and then white, and then it works. You don't need to make the whole car white. I feel like that's where the uh, 2014 24 design went wrong. BassPro.com there. As you've probably already seen, like this isn't like a very detailed review, I guess. I mean, it's still a review. I'm showing off the car, pointing out some details. But uh, if you look at like my Disney Pixar reviews, those are way more in detail because I mean, there's nine cars to review here. I'm not going to spend as much time as I usually do on all of them. But uh, yeah, I do think I'll be doing line out reviews, NASCAR authentic reviews from now. So that's more true X's. Uh, Patriotic car. Let's move on to a race win car of Kyle Busch. So we got the Joe Logano race win over there. We've got Kyle Busch's here. The uh, Auto Club 400 winner at Fontana. There's a car on there that does not appear to be Kyle Busch's. So let's get this one out of the package. Obviously, they changed the interstate batteries design for 2020. And um, I do think it looks better than the Zebra kind of car here. So there's the front of the card, March 17th, 2019. And then you've got the back here, 2 hours, 47 minutes, 42 seconds is the race, which was longer than this one by 12 minutes and some seconds. Got He started fourth, 200 laps. Uh, number of cautions were four for 22 laps. He led 134 laps, so pretty much dominated. More than half the race led and won by 2.3 seconds. So yeah, pretty much a dominating win for Kyle Busch in Fontana. And here's the car to represent that dominating win. I see all the confetti in the world. All the confetti is on this car. 
covered in confetti. You got the interstate batteries. You can't even really see the interstate batteries logo. But you can see it's under there somewhere under that confetti. You can't even really see the 18. What does it say? Yeah, I can't really tell what it says there. JD Gibbs, I think. You can see interstate batteries. Toyota. Ream, interstate batteries. Eminem, obviously his main sponsor. Mac Tools, Mobile One. Camry there, you can see the blue tape on the front. But yeah, all the confetti in the world on the roof of the car. And you can kind of see why they call it the zebra car. Because the white and green stripes kind of make it look like a zebra. 18 outlined in red there. The Goodyear tires are, but yeah, a lot of the confetti. Way more than Joey Logano's confetti. Yeah, looks, looks pretty nice, but uh, I obviously wish they toned it down on the confetti a bit. I guess, I mean, I guess there was this much confetti in victory lane, but we'll talk about that once we get to the next race win version, which will be the next car that we'll show. I mean, kind of interesting how they determine which race for versions to come out with and which ones to not. Because in my opinion, Kyle Busch and Joe Logano are the two least popular drivers in the series. So I'm not exactly sure why they chose their race win versions. Um, I don't know, up to, up to them, I guess. But I really don't know how they choose which race, wins ver race win versions to come out with. But uh, that is Kyle Busch's Auto Club winner. Let's move on to the only non-cup car in the way of the truck car the Greg Biffle Truck Series winner. Obviously he's returned to NASCAR. He won in the Kyle Busch Toyota truck. Greg Biffle there, Texas Speedcash.com four hundred was the uh, name of the race. Definitely Fort Worth, Texas, June seventh, twenty nineteen. So he did go in chronological order, I guess, which is nice. But as you can see, no confetti on the card. And we'll get this out in a second here. There's the card and there is the truck, the fifty one Toyota truck. Already sponsored by Toyota. But let's look at the card first. There is the card. Uh, June seventh, two hours twenty nine minutes thirty nine seconds. Actually, that's the shortest right, uh, shortest race out of all of them. He started sixth, one hundred sixty seven laps, thirteen cautions. That's uh, quite a bit of cautions. He led. I don't think he led the whole race. But okay, yeah, I doubt. Did he? Uh, okay. Uh, we'll go with that he read the whole race, but I don't think he led the whole race, and he won by basically a second. Um, mm, I don't think he led the whole race. Uh, maybe wrong, maybe that's actually true, but I don't believe he led the whole race. Um, I think the card messed up there. Yeah, this is a truck. Obviously, they just introduced the truck design, uh, I think 2018, maybe 2019. Um, but yeah, uh, very nice truck I really do like that they introduced the trucks into the NASCAR line. They release it in the Authentics and also uh, the online retailers and stuff like that. So, Toyota there on the hood. The Tundra. 51 there. 51 there on the roof. I've seen Kyle Busch Motorsports uh, truck. We've got Gander Outdoor Truck Series. Mobile One there on the side. Toyota Racing Development Engines. Toyota. KBM there. You've got Mobile One, pretty big sponsor there. You've got the Toyota logo again. You've got these things, which uh, there actually is space between them. Not just like a piece of, you know, mold. It just, you know, this is this is probably more expensive than if they just made it all plastic here. Pretty nice detail, but pretty fragile those pieces are. Got a little bit tiny logo there, the trip on the spoiler there. Toyota on the side, Mobile One on the back. Series XM, Exalta even, that's pretty interesting. And you can see this bit of detail here where someone got into him with a tire. Pretty nice detail there. Looks like some, I'm not sure if that's detail or if that's just like some paint chipping on the splitter there. You've got the piece of tape there. So yeah, pretty nice. It's all black basically and kind of like a matte, well, not really a matte black, but kind of like a matte black. And it's all, not really a paint scheme, a black truck with some sponsor details. Which is pretty cool still. As you can see, no confetti. So this is a raised version, whereas, whoops, did not mean to do that. Let's get that back to the center. Whereas this car and this car, these two are more like victory lane versions. I keep hitting the camera. 
Like, this is a raced version. This, like, the car has was never ran with confetti on the track, right? So this is more like a victory lane version of the car. Those two are more victory lane versions of the car, whereas this is really a, uh, this is really a race version of the car. So I really wish they would release them without the confetti. Um, but unfortunately, they do not. Um, sometimes they do, like, if we get lucky, they release them without the confetti. But sometimes, most of the times, they release them with the confetti, which is rather unfortunate. But, uh, you know, I'm sorry. This truck, not only is it the only truck in the way, but... Also, it's a raced version without the confetti. That's a double plus right there. Moving on, we've got the last two cars in the way, which were the hardest to find for me. Uh, let's start with the Daryl Wallace Jr. Bubba Wallace 43 McDonald's Chevrolet. Let's get it out of the package. These, are the, these two were the hardest to find for me. Found all of the other waves in the Target store, and I had to find these two separately and it took a while for me to find them but i did find them i think i i found them and now i'm seeing them everywhere um but yeah really nice die cast here as i almost dropped it um yeah nice to see the 43 get some sponsorship obviously I, that team's kind of been lacking sponsorship nice to see it get some finally they're getting some more like i think doordash sponsors them now and um uh, like the cash app that was is owned by that twitter ceo i think and uh beats i think as well so a lot of sponsors coming out of that 43 but yeah uh, we have a team bacon here on the hood with the mcdonald gold mcdonald's golden arches it's very nice and then you've got the red hood and then you've got the rest of the car is white here we've got this red design here on the front behind william comes out nascar heat as well, number 43 in the red box, which is kind of interesting, but there it is. Bubba Wallace, Worldwide Technologies, that also sponsors them. Uh, Mac, the U.S. Air Force, sponsors them from time to time. Pioneer Technology Group, I'm not exactly sure what that is. There's the Goodyear Tires, Transportation Impact. We've got Big Mac, Bacon, McDonald's on the back. 43, which is in blue, kind of interesting. Camaro there. You've got the McDonald's Big Mac bacon. And if you go to the top here, I mean, that's supposed to be a piece of bacon. I mean, that looks pretty cool. How they incorporated that into the design of the 43 in the background being that. Got team Bacon again. I really like that. The uh, bacon there on the top. Got the McDonald arch, which kind of like looks out of place. It's huge to begin with. And it goes behind the window, down behind the tire. So you can't see like half of it can't see that part, you can't see that part, and you can't see that part. Which kind of, you know, kind of looks, makes it look out of place. There's the other side of it. Good year. So, yeah, but, you know, it's McDonald's scheme, and it looks pretty nice. I do like it. Um, there's the uh, card out action, kind of the same. You can't really see most of the McDonald's arch, actually. And, yeah, the 43 being in a box is kind of strange. But uh, yeah, I actually do like this car. I mean, it's a little strange, the McDonald's Arches, but, uh, you know, the 43 being sponsored by something other than STP or whatever. Um, you know, 43 getting some pretty big sponsors, honestly, is pretty nice. And I think this was a pretty cool release by Lime Auto. They made it in the Authentics line as well. And uh, yeah, I really do like the uh, bacon strip on the top there. So yeah, that's the Bubba Wallace 43. And now moving on to the most popular driver and the most hated driver all in one, the Chase Elliott uh, Hooters, uh, I believe, breast cancer awareness car. Let's see, pink. And, uh, what are they called? What do they call them back here? Hooters give a hoot. <laughs> that's kind of interesting way to call it, but yeah, but that's what it's actually called. And this was also would be the chase piece where the pink would be like metallic. The color from is what they call it, but well, it's metallic. And this one also does come with a hood. I'm not exactly sure how they, you know, pick what comes with what, but they do somehow. But yeah, there's the hood. Hooters, we got the Hooters owl there. And you can see how Hooters, the E is in the uh, breast cancer sign, breast cancer awareness sign. Got the nine there. We got the Chase Elliott logo. And then, so it's pink on the back. It's kind of interesting. 
Yeah, there's the hood. And now here's the car. There's the Hooters owl. I do like the font there, actually. How the B O the H T R S font. I do like that. Also the cancer sign there. See the O's are supposed to look like the um eyes of the uh owl, dude. Um but yeah, I do like the font there. Pink letters on a white background there, and then the rest, the rest, the rest, the, 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 the uh, rest of the car is pink and white. The back is pretty pink, but uh, I like the pink front end there. Number nine. What does that say? Let's see. That's the Hendrick Motorsports, actually. Uh, really, nothing on the side here. Just uh, those two logos. I do like the um, stripe goes along. At the nine, kind of stops, makes way for the nine. There's the nine, goes back along and just kind of like opens up and transitions into this big pink mess in the back. Not mess, but really pink in the back. Now, do their Hooters Napa, and it's really pink in the back. Got the Hooters now in red, and now the O's being the breast cancer awareness sign instead of the uh, owl dude's eyes. And the E is back. Napa out of parts. Hooters.com slash give Camaro. We've got Kelly Blue Book in pink as well. You can see how everything's kind of like in their normal color, but then Kelly Blue Book's not. It's pink, along with the Hooters, obviously. So you have Valvoline there, Napa, Mountain Dew. Um, and do I really do like how like they made the car. Another kind of two-tone car. You've got white in the front, pink in the back. I think it would have been cool if they made the whole car pink, but uh, white and pink look pretty good together as well, though. And this car looks pretty good. I should just go around me. I really do like this car. does look pretty good. I do like the white hood here. This looks pretty cool, the white hood with the pink letters. And then this line here that transitions into the pink looks very nice as well. I mean, you know, if they made this pink, they made this pink, I mean, just make it pink, please. Consistent, like, make this part like pink, like right the Mountain Dew logo. Make the Mountain Dew logo on pink and make it everything in the back here pink. It'd be look probably better. So weird, this weird design here. I'm not sure it's like half and half and comes down. That's kind of strange. Yeah, there's the nine, the white nine there. So yeah, pretty cool. And you can see I did show the hood. So yeah, that would be the last car in the wave. And uh, yeah, looks pretty nice. That should do it for my review. Let's get all the cars back out of here now. There's the Chase Elliott, the Bubba Wallace, McDonald's, the truck, the throwback, the raced one, one, this one, this one here, this one, and this one in the back. Here they are. Um, so the, these are the cars released in NASCAR Authentics Wave 12. I probably have to go with my favorite being these three right here. Um, those three are my favorite. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed. And uh, yeah, this will now be something I start doing on my channel, are the Lino Authentics reviews. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.